चलो हेडिंग लेता हूं कैलकुलेशन ऑफ आई आर आर इन दर पर डाउन स्टेप नंबर वन we have found npv of the project at the rate 10% full stop at that time NPV is positive. Full stop. So now we will calculate revise the NPV at the rate twenty four percent. In bracket write down. randomly selected now from 10% you can take 15% you can take 20% you can take even 50 percentage anything you can take but of course more than 10 percentage because at 10% npv is already positive i am taking randomly 24 percentage why 24 percentage for that there is no reason so we will have the working like this calculation of npv at the rate 24 percentage column number 1 is year column number 2 is cash flow third column is 24 percent present value factor present value cash flow and with that npv will be found so cash inflow for the first year for second year and for third year it is 3500 4250 8750 3500 and 8750 discounting at 24% is 1 divided by 1.24 First year factor is point eight zero six five. Second year factor is six five zero four. Third year factor is point five two four five. This is the way year one, two, year three factors can be calculated. Thirty five hundred into point eight zero six five. Present value is two eight double two point seventy five. Four two five zero into point six five zero four. It is two seven six four point two. Third year it is eight seven five zero into point five two four five. Four five eight nine. Point three seventy five. Present value of the cash and flow. Ten thousand hundred and seventy six. Point three two five. Amount of investment is ten thousand, and NPV of the project would be positive hundred and seventy six point three twenty five. This is the way NPV will be found at twenty four percent. Now calculate at the revised cost of capital, which will be more than twenty four percent. Step number two. Now, friends, we understand that say we increase the cost of capital from ten percent to twenty four percent with the hope to get negative NPV. We have not been able to get negative NPV. However, we have been able to get less positive NPV. It means that say we are going in the correct direction. So, step number two is calculation of NPV at the rate twenty six percent. Why twenty six percent? No reason. Can I take twenty seven? Yes. Can I take thirty? Yes. 
Hence, logically we understand like this. At the rate of 10%, the NPV was 3267. Huge positive NPV. So I made a big jump from 10% to 24% for the purpose of getting negative NPV. Unfortunately, the NPV is once again positive, but now it is marginally positive. So now I have to increase the cost of capital just by a few percentage so as to get the negative NPV. So now we are calculating the NPV again at the rate of 26 percentage. So column number one is year. Column number two is cash flow. Third column is the discounting factor at 26 percent. And the last column is the present value cash flow. And that is the way NPV will be calculated. Let us see that say at 26 percentage, first year factor is 7937, second year factor is 6299, third year factor is 0.4999, so 3500 into 0 0.7937, so 2777.95. Four two five zero into point six two double nine two six double seven point zero eight eight seven five zero into point four triple nine so four three seven four point one three so present value of the cash inflow nine thousand eight hundred twenty nine Point one six. From that investment will be deducted ten thousand. NPV of the project is found. It is one seventy point eighty four negative. Okay, so now we have got positive NPV at twenty four percentage, negative NPV at twenty six percentage. Difference between both of them is within three percent. Now they can be interpolated for IRR calculation. So now, let us answer further. Step number three. In that write down. We can observe that at the rate 24%. NPV is negative. Full stop. At the rate twenty five percent, NPV is positive. I'm sorry. At the rate of twenty four percent, NPV is positive. Comma at the rate of twenty six percent, NPV is negative full stop so IRR is falling in between both of them full stop Difference between both of them is within three percentage, comma. So they can be interpolated. They can be interpolated as under. Now the interpolation process cost of capital, sorry, cost of capital twenty four, twenty six. NPV of the project 
176.325 and 170.84. We will compute the difference between the cost of capital and difference of NPV. Difference between the cost of capital is 2 percentage and difference between the NPV is 347.165. Now usually we will take the lower cost of capital as base. So over here I am taking this as base, 24 percentage, so 176.325, so 176.325 divided by 347.165 into 2 percentage. That comes to 1.01 .01, or we can say that it is very near to 1 percentage. So IRR is 24 plus 1 that is 25 percentage. Is that an answer? I want somebody of you to tell me that whether this project would be accepted based on IRR criteria. Yes answer is correct answer. Because the return that say we are, that is so the cost of capital that we can afford for the project is 25 percentage and actual cost is only 10 percentage. So whatever the cost that we can afford is more than actual cost that we have. So the project should be accepted. Please write an answer to the question in terms of the decision making. Decision. IRR exceeds cost of capital. In bracket, I am writing 25% is exceeding 10%, comma, so accept the project. This is the way we can write the answer. 